Hello everyone. Lots of prominence at the moment around the Building Safety Act, which I covered with my colleague Mike in an earlier vlog. Notably, the first successful remediation order has been passed by the courts in favour of a group of flat holders who successfully applied for a remediation order against their landlord in re relation to defective external cladding and other issues, accompanied by a ruling that 80% of the landlord's cost of the proceedings could not be passed on through the service charge. Now, I suspect I'll return to the Act at some point and the impact on my specialism of commercial property as opposed to residential flats. But I thought I'd talk about something quite light and easy in this last week of the summer, while some of us are taking a holiday, are perhaps phasing ourselves in from past holidays, or for those of us who have been at our desks for a while, are asking ourselves why August seems to be busier than ever. So it's just one small case, and it's a Crown Court case. A landlord, T&M Investments Limited, own premises uh, on Wilmslow Road on Manchester's Curry Mile. And its tenant used the premises to operate the Dubai Cafe. That was the name. And the premises had planning permission to operate as a restaurant. In September 2018, enforcement officers from Manchester City Council noticed that this Dubai Cafe was being operated as a shisha bar. Now, I'm not with the kids anymore, so I had to look this up. Shisha isn't a drug, it's a flavoured type of tobacco, but the smoking of shisha in a restaurant is a flagrant criminal offence in the same way that smoking cigarettes in a public place now is. But also, the activity was an unauthorised use without planning permission, and there was unauthorised development as well as works had been carried out to the frontage and inside to facilitate shisha smoking. So a planning enforcement notice was issued by the council, which ordered the landlord to close the cafe and remove the works. Over the next four years, the council entered the property on two occasions to seize shisha pipes and tobacco. But four years on, Dubai Cafe was still being used as a shisha bar. The landlord was prosecuted for failing to comply with the planning enforcement notice and it was fined just under £19,000 for that. That was a criminal offence, failure to comply with the enforcement notice. But that was small beer against the sum of just under £175,000 representing the rent which the landlord had collected from the date the enforcement action was first served to the date the lease was finally forfeited, which the Crown Court has now ordered the landlord to pay under a confiscation order made under the Proceeds of Crime Act. The landlord had turned a blind eye to the criminal offence, being the non-compliance with the enforcement notice, and as a result, uh, its rental income was proceeds of that non-compliance, therefore proceeds of a crime, therefore that rental income is being taken away from the landlord. Now, leases do usually require tenants to comply with the law, so it follows that tenants can't commit criminal offences. But the case is a lesson to landlords, first of all, not to ignore enforcement notices. And also, if premises appear to be used for any type of criminal activity, then the best remedy is probably to forfeit the lease and find a new tenant. There you go. I've spoken about the Building Safety Act and shisha smoking in the same talk. What a varied life we lead. I'll see you all again in September.